In this video, we're gonna look at some of the AI tools that crypto exchanges now give us in order to create trading strategies, specifically Pionext GBT, which is a version of ChatGBT where you can use this to generate trading strategies and then you can back test them to see if they've actually been profitable and then implement those actual strategies with real money yourself. So we're gonna go through how to actually do this in this video, looking at how to back test, create the strategy and implement that. And I'll leave timestamps for every different section down in the description below. Many crypto exchanges now implement chat GPT or other AI tools to actually help us with our trading strategies and other information. So for example, Bybit right here, use ChatGPT or they call it Tools GPT. You can ask it questions about um, different strategies and it's gonna give you either trading strategies uh, or ways to implement those and other information. So uh, we're gonna look at Pionex though, because this gives us specific trading strategies that we can backtest and then actually implement the trading right on this platform as well. So if you haven't got Pionex, I'll leave a link below to sign up. Uh, they might have a trading and deposit bonus. Bybit also have trading and deposit bonuses as well, but you can use these uh, GPT tools for free if you want as well, if you sign up for an account. So I'll leave the links below uh, if you want to sign up for an account. And then we can go ahead and actually use these tools to create a strategy for us. Because Pionex is a specific trading bot platform, they have many different bots already implemented on the platform. So if you go to the Pionex uh, main page, once you have an account, trading bots are all here with the many different bots that you can actually implement right here and you can change those parameters. But what we wanna do is actually backtest some bots that the AI is going to give us. So what you need to do is go to more and then Pinex GPT right here. And as you can see, it's in beta phase right now, but we can actually click on one of these and it's gonna give us the text. So give me a momentum strategy, give me a grid strategy or a DCA strategy. I'm gonna click give me a momentum strategy and then it's gonna come up with the code that we need to implement. So we don't need to write the code or know how to implement this. We can just simply copy and paste this code. We're gonna go over to Trading View and we're going to implement this code and actually backtest all of the results. Before we do that, we can look at the different types of strategy that we can actually request from the AI and the uh, way we can implement these. Because even with artificial intelligence, nothing can predict the future. And so we have to know which type of market environment that we're in in order to request a certain type of trading strategy because an AI is not going to predict the future uh, in any way that's you know better than what anyone else can do or any other strategy. So if you implement the wrong type of strategy, you're still going to lose. So let's have a look at the types of strategy that we can implement. This one right here is just a normal grid strategy. So if you've used uh, uh, bots before, you'll know a grid bot is one of the most popular types of bots. And this just simply implements buys and sells and then refreshes all of those buys and sells within a top and a bottom range. This is good for ranging markets. So if you think you're gonna trade sideways for a while and the price isn't really gonna move anywhere, maybe it goes up 5%, down 5%, but over a six month period, you don't think the price is gonna really move that much, then a grid strategy, what it really does is just buy and sell a lot in order to take some small profits out of the market and kind of generate some trading profits within that sideways range. Now, I've had other videos go through this and these do work to actually outperform a sideways ranging market. So if you have a grid strategy, that is going to be good in a ranging or you know a market that moves kind of sideways. But if you're in a momentum based market or a market that's moving heavily in one direction, grids might not be the way to go. And so requesting that from the bot is you know, still going to underperform other types of strategies. So this is a breakout type strategy, which you can implement from ChatGPT as well. So a breakout strategy is one that waits for breakouts of trends and then trades them. So once you get the breakout of the trend, it wants to trade that breakout and you know, try and make money like that. So again, you're looking for breakouts, maybe a sideways ranging movement, uh, or maybe a downward ranging movement, something like that, and you wanna implement a breakout strategy. Then there's another one, which would be a trend following strategy. If you see a, you know, a heavy trend, right? So either an uptrend or a downtrend, and you see that, or you think we're in a part of the market where Bitcoin should be moving up, maybe after a halving, that's when it usually has those moves, then you're gonna be wanting a momentum type strategy, an uptrend type strategy, or a downtrend type strategy, which is more of a, a momentum play. So it does matter which type of market you think you're in as to how the bot is going to perform. 
a, a, a bot is not going to break the laws of physics. And so if you get the bot wrong or if you're in the wrong type of market, if you're trading a long strategy and the market's going down, you, you're not going to print profits if you're trading the wrong strategy. In any case, what we can do now is take the script that the AI has given us and then back test this to see if it's actually a profitable strategy or not, or if it's worked over a certain time frame. So what we can do here is press at the bottom, copy and back test on trading view. You can click that and it's going to go through to trading view in order to implement the strategy. What I'm going to do though is just press copy because I'm going to manually go over to my trading view and paste it in. Now, if you don't have trading view, trading view is completely free. So you can just sign up for an account with an email address. I'll leave a link to trading view in the description as well. Uh, so you can sign up for an account and use it for free. What we can do now is implement this uh, strategy script into the uh, script editor right here. So what you need to do is look for this down here, which is Pine Editor. Click this and bring this up. And then we can implement this strategy. Within Pine Editor, you'll want to make sure that nothing is here. So just uh, copy all or you know select all and then paste in that script. And that should be the script for you in right here. Now what you can do is press save if you want to save it, although you don't have to, and just press add to, add to chart or update on chart right here. And that's going to add this script to the chart. And you can see all of the trades that this uh, trading strategy would have implemented over that time. At this point, we can look at some of the backtest results and the properties of the bot. And you might want to change some things around to see how it actually works over different time frames and periods. So the first thing we can do is go to settings. And then you might want to change your initial capital. I've just put 10,000 here. But if you want to put some money into a bot, put the amount of money that you would want to trade with. Order size is something you might want to trade as well. Um, you can trade an amount of your equity. So if you choose percentage of equity, how much of you, your capital that you're putting into your bot do you actually put towards each and every trade? So I've put 100% here. You can change this around to see if it changes the bot performance as well. So if you've got $1,000 here, you'll put $1,000 towards each trade and then see how it works. So we're going to press OK on that. So what we can see is properties of the bot. Uh, what we want to do is performance summary. So net profit around $50 here. Now compared to a buy and hold strategy, which is this down here, it's uh, outperformed. So a buy and hold would have actually seen us lose around 12 or 13% just buying and holding at the same time that we started the bot. So this one has you know, outperformed a little bit, you know, made a small profit there. Uh, so you can see that from the overview. What you can also do is look at each and every trade to see exactly what it's done. So most of the time what it's doing is cutting its losses fairly quicker because the percentage profitable isn't that high to be honest. And so you can see it tries to cut those losses and run winners a little bit. Overall, it has made slight profits, even with, you know, a, a pretty much ranging and downwards facing market. Now, I chose the momentum bot specifically so we can have a look at how this momentum bot has done over a period of time where Bitcoin has moved up in price. And so that momentum has been to the upside. So I've changed to the 45 minute chart here and the properties you can see that we're now back testing a range from the end of 2022 up until making this video at the end of August 2023. During that time, Bitcoin itself as an asset has moved up around 70 percent or so. And so the asset itself has made very good returns just from a buy and hold if you would have gone into the strategy at that time. So a momentum bot must outperform that in order to be irrelevant. If, if it's not outperforming that, then you would just not use the bot itself. So if we look at the net profit on this bot, we can see that's $9,000. That was on a $10,000 um, initial investment. But obviously, you can change that around, which is a 90% return. If we look at performance summary, you can see buy and hold would have returned around 60% during this time. And this momentum trading bot, which should do better in a momentum market, so a trending market to the upside, it should be buying dips and, you know, uh, taking profits when the price gets ahead of itself. You can see it's a 90% return. So it has outperformed a buy and hold strategy. However, if the Bitcoin price was moving down or sideways during this time, this bot may not outperform. And so it does matter which type of bot that you're using, getting that strategy right for the market that you're in. Now, what we can do is actually implement this strategy and trade with it. The way that this works is that TradingView itself that is actually running this trading strategy now is going to give us trade alerts or trade signals based on the strategy. Within the trading system, it's going to have these alerts. And what we can do is send these alerts over to Pinex, which can use the signal or the alert to actually go ahead and trade with 
in the crypto market. So I'll show you how to link these two up. Come to your Pinex account and press trading bot and then search for the signal bot right here. This should be on the main page. So signal bot and press create. Then we're going to add custom trading view signal and we need to name it. So I'm gonna name it momentum and then press confirm. Now from here, we need to configure this within TradingView as well. The way that this works is that Pinex needs signals and it works off a percentage basis. So what it's asking you to do is put 100 into the initial capital screen and then set the order size to what you want as well. So if you have a maximum successive entries of one, you're using 100% of your capital at all times. If I change this to five, you can see the order size default is now 20. So you're only trading with 20% of your initial capital. I wanna cha uh, change this to one. So we're gonna put the initial capital to 100, order size to 100, and the pyramiding to one. So change over to your uh, trading view. Come to your strategy tester, whatever strategy that you're using right here, it will be named. So come to settings, and then we wanna change the initial capital to 100 to make it a percentage for Pinex. And then order size is one USD, pyramiding to one as well. We're gonna click okay, and that changes things a little bit. And then we're gonna go back to Pinex and make sure that we've done that and saved it within our trading view. So I have completed the configuration. Now we need to set up the trade alerts. So we can create this alert. Two things we need to copy and paste, webhook URL. So we're gonna copy this right here and then go over to our trading view. Now from here, you wanna trade, you wanna press this, which is the alert button. So same screen, just press alerts, go to notifications here and then webhook URL. You wanna click this on. Uh, so if you have the free version, you can't send these alerts over to Pinex. So you're gonna to have to upgrade. Like I said, I'll link the uh, trading view link down below so you can see all of the details there. You can have trials as well, which are free, so you can check that out. But we're gonna paste in the webhook URL. And then what we want to do is go over to settings as well. And the message is important. So the message here, we're going to copy that, then go back to trading view. And you just wanna you know, uh, select all and then paste that in to get that message. Press create right here, press create. Make sure that the webhook URL is in, the settings and the message is in, press create right there. What that is now going to do is that every time this strategy has a alert or, or a trade opportunity, it's gonna send that alert over to Pionex immediately. Once that's done, Pionex can then use those trade alerts to actually go ahead and trade. The configuration is now completed and we can automate the signal right here. So we're gonna click on that. On the right hand corner, now what you need to do is make sure that you have the bot set up in the way that you want because the signals are one thing, but what we actually want Pionex to do with those signals as well. So we are trading the momentum here choose the trading pair. So the signals that we get, we're looking at Bitcoin US dollar. So if you get signals based on Bitcoin US dollar and you trade a different asset, that's obviously not good. So we wanna make sure that we're trading Bitcoin USDT right here. Uh, USDT obviously, so we need some US dollar tether in Pionex as well. If you need to know how to use Pionex as a platform itself, I've got a beginner's guide on that as well. So I'll link it in the description. Now select the leverage that you want to use. Now this is using no leverage. And so I would suggest maybe keeping it like that. Using leverage may change the performance of the bot significantly. More leverage is more risk. And so you might have losses that are larger than you expect. Um, so that's up to the individual, but you can trade the uh, the asset on leverage here. And then the investment that you wanna make, you can you know choose any amount that you wanna put into the bot itself. Uh, and then you can see here, start copying. Uh, you need at least $50 in order to start trading with this bot just to give yourself um, some money to obviously trade with because the bot loses some and wins some. So that's how to set it up. Once you've done that, you can then just press create the bot and that bot is now trading specifically with the alerts that you get from the strategy through trading view and also with the parameters that you set right here. If you want to cancel or edit any of the bots that you have running, you can very easily do that down in your Pinex. Just come to the main screen, either on your app or on a browser, just go to the cancel tab in your trading bot orders. So these are live orders. You can cancel these very easily and that cancels out any trades that you have live in the market. You can also edit or delete the signals that you're getting here as well. So if you think that something's not right, you can have a look at that information here within the signal bot right here. So in terms of signal bots and trading, you know, this is what I would call, you know, on the riskier end, 
the strategies that we get, we really don't know how these are going to perform in the future. And despite it being high tech and using AI, these strategies can fail a lot of the time as well, in my opinion. And it does matter which type of market that you're in, because I've seen many of these bots and I have many running for the channel as well, and they cannot work miracles. They actually do what they say they're going to do, but it's up to the user to choose the right bot for the right job. If you've got a grid bot and you're in a you know highly volatile market moving to the upside, it may underperform. If you're using a momentum bot in a sideways moving market, it may underperform. And so there is not the ability to break actual physics you have to choose the right bot for the right job, which is a skill in itself and very difficult, but that's how to use them. So you can play around with those training bots if you want. I'll leave a link to Pinex in the description if you wanna check it out. Also some beginner's guides and other helpful videos on what bots actually are, I'll leave down in the description as well. I'm James with MoneyZG, cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.